This is the Celt Father, Mark Gunn, the number one Celtic musician in the world, at least according to Reverb Nation. I'm really excited, actually kind of really excited about that because uh, I Reverb Nation is one of the largest indie music sites online. And not only am I listed as the number one in the world, but uh, I think I'm actually in like the top 80 or 70 artists on the entire website. So that's pretty good, pretty good results. And that's all thanks to... Uh, you and some creative marketing and whatnot, and I'm really excited about that, so thank you. I was going to do just a video update, and then I realized, you know, many of you have been listening to The Kelt File a long time, and it's been a long time in news site as well as other stuff. And since I now have feel like I've gotten The Kelt Father to being a, a, a new format, the, which I'm now calling Kelt Father Music and Travel, uh, I have something that I can focus in on. Now I feel like I can also share a little bit of news in the process. So this isn't one of the music and uh, travel episodes. This is just news of what's going on with me. This Thursday, I'm heading off to Brittany in France for the Celtic Invasion of Brittany. If you want to stay on top of what I'm doing, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. Instagram, that's where I'm going to post the pictures. Facebook, I'm going to do a little bit, probably, you know, uh, best of pictures, whatnot. And then the Kilt Father Music and Travel Podcast. This one right here. Uh, I hope to post, post at least one episode, maybe a couple more. I'm not going to try to overpromise like I did last year and be <laughs> unfulfilled. But I will at least have one episode up. So stay tuned right here for more episodes. Facebook versus YouTube. I think I've talked about this before, but I am not using Facebook nearly as much. In fact, I've been getting a whole bunch of wonderful, beautiful emails from people saying, uh, stick with legacy sites. I don't use social media. I hate social media. And since I'm in the same boat where I'm not a fan of social media, it's not that I'm going to abandon them because I've been working too hard to build those up as it is, but I am not going to spend my time uh, promoting as much on like Facebook when it's not good for overall, which is one of the reasons why I've been moving to YouTube. And if you, if you haven't been over to my YouTube channel, please subscribe because there's a lot of new music videos. Uh, and I, I, also, I also started a C, summer CD giveaway. These aren't necessarily my CDs. They are a whole bunch of different CDs. I have a, a few hundred CDs that I've collected from the uh, Irish and Celtic Music Podcast and the Renaissance Festival Podcast. And since I am no longer running the Renaissance Festival Podcast and I no longer accept CDs for the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast, I want to get rid of these albums. So I want to give them to you if you are interested. And you can win them by heading over to YouTube and just watching my videos. Uh, the instructions are in the latest video, which is the second week of the summer CD giveaway. Go check out that video. I'll post a link in the show notes. Uh, since I am going to Brittany, the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast has at least one new host, possibly two. I already have Steve Barons lined up for the Celtic Music Journal. That's going to be while I am away in Brittany. And I think I have a Celtic Punk special coming uh, the week after that. So here's knock on wood. I'm about to do a another episode of the, of the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast to cover for next or this coming week. I don't know, whenever that is. June 1st. I still need a show for that before I head out. I also have some new podcast t-shirts. So head on over to my Bandcamp page, which is now the home of my store online. You can buy shirts through there. Uh, they, they look really cool. It, again, designed by uh, James McDaniel II, which is, and it has, says real Celtic music, R-E-E-L, Celtic music and has a couple of women in green uh, fiddling and fluting. It, it looks really awesome. So go check it out. Um, you can follow the link over at CelticMusicPodcast.com if you want or just in the show notes here. Speaking of new merch, I have Miriam Plant has been designing my new shirt for, what is it, Clean Taste After Dirty Flying is the ad slogan for Monaghan's Mother's Milk, and it's a, a ripoff of uh, a Guinness logo with, they have the, their Guinness toucan, um, but this is a an albatross, and it's beautifully designed. Uh, she did a great job on this, this thing. It's going to be for my Firefly shirts. I will have those out um, 
as soon as they're done, we're on the last stages of cleaning this up. And I think it looks amazing. She has done a, a brilliant job. Uh, she also actually designed some uh, shirts. What is it? Uh, May the kilt be with you. And they, those are all ready to go. But I decided to wait since uh, Firefly stuff is coming up. I'm holding off on that. So stay tuned for that. Um, maybe at the end of the summer. I am do have some new uh, pendants for the, you know my auto harp string pendants. A Celtic knot pendants. They look awesome. And I will be coming out later this summer with the Kelt Father USB. Lots of work to do on there. As long as I'm flying, the new Firefly album is underway. I, I'm still trying to hear back from some of the musicians who are helping me add music to this album. And I haven't had any feedback response yet. But uh, I finished almost all the songs. I think there's like two or three uh, that I still want to get some recordings for. One of which is a song I just wrote the other day. I wanted another song for the album. And I sat down and I... It, okay, so Tom Smith has suggested that I... About a parody, a Firefly parody, based on the song Shiny from the movie Moana. And I, I thought it was a great idea. He was like, wow, you know, it's a... You know, hello, duh. But... <laughs> I, I, I've been trying to write more, you know, I want to write more melodies. I want to write more, uh, the, the entire songs. And so I decided I want to skip on that. But I took that idea of Shiny and I wrote a song based around that. And it's all about Malcolm Reynolds and his inability to express his love. <laughs> it's really cool. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so if you are a, part, a patron of mine, you can uh, listen to an an iPhone cut that I made. It sounds, it's Still came off really good. After the Celtic invasion, I'm heading off on a beach vacation trip with the family. Um, this will be a pretty short little trip, but we are going to get some water time. And uh, then somewhere next month, there should be the Cat Lovers podcast rebooted. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you're not subscribed, I'm not sure where you can at present, but I will get that link up and going going working finally upcoming shows uh obviously the celtic invasion i'm doing i'm this um, today is the 26th and i'm going to be doing a tri show at the pepper place farmer's market but uh the next big show is in conjunction in the indianapolis then gen con in indianapolis uh brob and bards have been officially confirmed for dragon con yay so we will be back there. I'm planning doing a, a cat show there, as well as my Firefly Drinking Song show. And then I have uh, ALEP, a long-expected party. This is number four, so I'm really excited. I talked with Samantha Gilogli about some of the music, and we're going to have a, a great time there. And then the Kilted Kings have their first show outside of Louisiana. It's at the Indiana Renaissance Festival. Yes, we are booked for one weekend at the Indiana Renaissance Festival, which is formerly Fishers. Um, so this is going to be awesome. I, I, I'm i looking forward to that. However, on the, the downside, the Louisiana Renaissance Festival, I will not be doing, we will not be doing a bunch of shows. I'm. We might have two weekends. I haven't gotten that confirmed yet. But uh, they said that they were trying to shank, you know, mix things up this year. And so we will not be there for the full run. <laughs> disappointed but oh well all right that's all the news that i have to share uh i will do a video as well and i'll talk to you later slanchin